same criteria we discussed earlier. We saw before how only a few regular polygons could be put on the faces of those platonic solids. But can we connect these shapes to each other in the fourth dimension to create 4D dice? The answer is yes. In fact, every platonic solid in three dimensions has a four-dimensional counterpart. Like if you join tetrahedrons together at three to an edge, you get the hypertetrahedron. There's also the hypercube, hyperoctahedron, hyperdodecahedron, and the hypericosahedron as well. But there is a sixth platonic solid that emerges in the fourth dimension, and it's the octacube or hyperdiamond. The analog of this constructed in three dimensions is the rhombic dodecahedron, something which is not a platonic solid due to the irregular faces. But in four dimensions, amazingly, the necessary criteria are all met. And you'd think it gets even crazier as we move up. But guess what happens in five dimensions? There are now only three platonic solids. When we move to the sixth dimension, there are still three. And as we continue to go up, we unfortunately only find three platonic solids. Now, moving on, here's another example of something we know very well for up to four dimensions, but afterwards we know very